Alright guys, um, so uh, my name's Sean McGee, I'm at Arclight 2011, uh, I started off uh, blogging on any news just after Fukushima and all the uh, media went pretty quiet uh, and it was quite shocking because uh, there was uh, some obvious health effects that were going to occur from this and it was taken out of the uh, public eye and uh, for about a year or so I was on any news and we were collecting data trying to find what was right what was you know what, what were the parameters of this disaster and uh, we basically got taken in a little journey if you like um, and my little journey uh, took me on to uh, uh, continuing the blogging because the the news and lots of news was being uh, at least played down if not outright censored so I started blogging on nuclearnews.net uh, many thanks to uh, Christina for giving me that opportunity and uh, the stuff I was sort of I had looked into at any news uh, started coming to the fore so uh, I basically uh, did lots of articles I was doing more digging I knew sort of kind of where to go to find things and uh, trying to keep an eye on on the situation so uh, basically when I started doing this it was just before the Olympics uh, uh, sort of thing uh, where I was doing lots of posting on the YouTube and uh, I was looking at uh, air pollution in the UK um, and in Europe in general um, using various uh, radiation network uh, monitors and uh, various data I was able to, to glean that there was some problems um, and I was comparing that with uh, normal pollution uh, data and uh, coming across some, uh, should we say, uh, similarities in timing between the two uh, types of uh, increase or measurements. Also discovered lots of cover-ups within the uh, radiation monitoring uh, side of things. Um, not necessarily from the guys on the ground, but in ways that uh, maybe software is, uh, is uh, used to uh, gain statistical uh, data uh, with which that then you know uh, can be uh, is being used basically to uh, underpin all the reports that are being done about pollution and about lots of other things um, anyway so uh, the YouTube thing was interesting because I, I kind of started getting hacked and all sorts of things uh, I got hacked twice. Once, once was uh, by the police, and um, I put in a crime uh, report because of the hack that I got. It was actually an intercept on my phone where somebody pretended to be a, a, one of my employers, uh, the Daily Mail, funnily enough. Um, and I was working a very small uh, wheel in the cog there, uh, just delivering papers. Nothing, uh, uh, nothing uh, too exciting. Um, but they hacked uh, my phone, they wanted to find out who I was, what I was up to, um, so I had to talk to them um, uh, directly, I actually talked to them on the phone as well afterwards when, when I put my uh, police crime number in, got my crime number and I was trying to get an investigation going. And they said, well, it was us, we're just keeping, you know, we're trying to work out, you know, are you part of this Daily Mail phone hacking? <laughs> uh, Thing. And it was quite amusing because they hacked me. They're allowed to hack people like me, but they're not allowed to uh, hack. Uh, well, I don't know what the criteria is. It's whoever they fancy not being hacked, basically, at the time. Uh, but anyway, because um, the police are doing it all the time as well. Uh, but uh, what happened with uh, that really was that I um, obviously managed to get on a domestic extremist database, I suspect, uh, to to be hacked in that way uh, but later on I got hacked again and that was after I contacted Imperial College University inquiring about issues around Chernobyl about some statistics and what have you so they basically gave me uh, um, some information on that um, <coughs> and uh, then I was hacked the same night and um, 
I got another crime reference number uh, and uh, apparently that was stopped by the, uh, the police and then uh, or someone and then investigation was taken out on me uh, that went on for uh, at least some months um, according to the very honest uh, after hours staff uh, in India God bless you and uh, Egypt as well another good guy in Egypt gave me some info um, which included getting a black, that I've got a black box on my, my uh, BT exchange phone line uh, part, part of it the exchange part and um, and that there was an investigation on me opened up instead of an investigation on the people who hacked me uh, and Vodafone were very much up for they had the IP address of this person persons unknown uh, but they would not uh, were not able to follow up because it was stopped by person by other people uh, of course domestic extremist database went over to MI5 uh, during the Olympics uh, and it's on their website so you can go on their website go to the page with domestic extremist database get white blank space enabling and I have tried to get a a data protection request in, but but uh, the uh, Scotland Yard uh, do not know now because they don't have to do a seat model, I think they call CPU or something. Um, but they don't have the original police format for this domestic extremist database. It's now renamed and, and they're taking on the auspices of uh, of national security. So uh, all you little old ladies and old men out there that. You know, wave your C and D flags, anti Monsanto, whatever else that you're unhappy about. Well, uh, you know, uh, what they're doing to me now is going to be what they're going to be doing to you. Cause it's so easy for them to do it. And they really don't care. They really do not care. It would appear. Uh, anyway, so I got targeted. Uh, so what was the next big thing? Well, December, uh, a few months after I started at uh, NuclearNews.net. Uh, it's nuclear-news.net uh, under the auspices of ArcLight 2011. I basically, uh, in December, I got my insurance. I'm a courier delivering papers, so my insurance went up 300%. They cancelled the insurance by text, and they come up with some really rubbish excuse. Um, but um, then they put my price up 300%, and they have had two recent phone calls from the uh, insurance underwriters. I'm going to do a story about this, but uh, ultimately I lost my job. Uh, phone, well, I, I personally think it was a phone call after I posted a certain article up, um, which uh, ended up me losing a lot of my work. And um, and uh, so therefore, you know, I could see the writings on the wall: going to be homeless, going to have bad credit, going to be bankrupted, all this type of stuff because I can't earn money. Uh, and obviously, if they can just phone up and get a job cancelled, that's not encouraging for me, is it? Uh, so, and uh, these three, this the huge increases, and I've got another increase from my insurance policies up in December. Uh, I've been told by the underwriters, they, they phoned me up, they phoned me up twice uh, in the last month or so, uh, month, six weeks. So, uh, <coughs> anyway, uh, choices. Um, I tried to live off grid. Uh, and basically that wasn't possible so uh, basically I'm uh, uh, having to move out of England I'm going to have to go to Iceland and uh, that's going to be a journey in itself and I'll keep you all posted on how that goes uh, but I'm uh, uh, going to claim harassment, political harassment uh, I'm going to try and get, get settled in Iceland God willing uh, so I've got a long fight ahead of me and it's not going to be easy to prove this harassment because uh, the records are, you know, I can't get to, uh, to, to them basically. Uh, and there's no uh, legal aid in this country anymore so there's no, no legal recourse. Uh, there's possibly some but, uh, you know, there's a lot of work and in the meantime a lot of, uh, a lot of news that's been hidden uh, needs to be brought out so there's no, not many people doing it. You know, small small relatively small handful of people on the internet just trying to trying to get some truth out there in, in any way they can um, anyway so uh, I'm going to leave it at that um, just an update on my situation just letting you know who I am and I'll be posting more of these videos in, in this kind of format uh, giving you some more details on what's going on alright thank you